Hello and welcome to midlife adulting. I would like to say I have a very well thought in, out introduction, but the truth is I am winging it, but I am going to try to control my ums and uhs for the benefit of my editor, me. Midlife adulting, why midlife adulting? I recently realized that at my age, I am officially smack in the center of midlife. I was born at the midpoint, just almost right on the border between Gen X and Millennials. I sometimes like to identify as Gen X, but then the Millennials come around and tell me that that's where I belong. So I'm not really sure where I fit other than the fact that I am old enough to know life before the internet was in everybody's home. I am old enough to remember, you know, life without a cell phone, life without, well, or rather life with my imagination and creativity and outside play. And not that I'm the only person that had that, even all generations have had access to that kind of thing. Well, not life before internet and the cell phone, but I remember rotary phones. I remember getting our first answering machine. That was big deal stuff. And as I am in midlife, I have found things getting harder and things that used to not be a problem. Trying to think of the right word, trying to do tasks that 20 years ago wouldn't have caused me trouble. And I'm not blaming this on my age. I would like to point that out. I am blaming it on the stress and the times we live in and, you know, a little bit of PTSD, some OCD. I've been through things myself. I have been through things with my family and I thought it would be fun to make the focus of my channel, my attempts to navigate adulthood in midlife for others who are feeling mentally like 20 year olds and physically like 60 year olds. I am not in the best shape of my life. I feel like maybe I never have been, although there were certainly times when I weighed less, but I'm just, I'm just existing and taking one day at a time and making my way through the best I can. And I would really like to start a community here on YouTube and share my experiences and use this as a way to be creative. I used to be consistently creative. I was always writing a book, working on a story, drawing pictures, knitting, being crafty. I, I was always creating and my job now is to be creative. So I get that during the week and in the evenings and in my free time, I am exhausted. So I am trying to force some creativity back into my life to create, even if it's silly or sometimes stupid or just a complete failure. I would like to see myself maintain this and in a year from now, be able to come back and say, one year ago, I uploaded my first video and look at all I have done look at all I have created for myself, as well as hopefully for someone else. Hopefully I will have things to share that will resonate with people. That is my intent. This is where I will film a lot of the time for the foreseeable future because I prefer to film where I don't have an audience. I hope this is a fun experience for me and for whomever stops by to watch. I hope we can communicate and have a two-way street here. Thank you for stopping and watching and I hope to see you soon.